This is week five. And according to our plan of attack, we had two milestones that we had to demonstrate um, on week five. So our MPV tracker is an electronic device that is microprocessor, is a microprocessor control device that it that is used to maximize the efficiency of the solar panel and try to allow the battery to be fully charged or operate at its maximum efficiency. That's the core system in the MPP tractor is a, a buck converter. And a buck converter is a converter that takes a high input and um, convert it to a low input. And so what are you looking at here right here, which we'll go in more detail, is a buck converter. Okay, it went sleep on me. There we go. So for week five, we had to do some, you know, just some verification type of stuff in order to see how we can get this thing to operate. And one of the things we wanted to do is I'll put a PWM signal to the board. So, you know, we know that um, that's the signal that is going to be controlling the duty cycle. So, for again, for all you don't see, you can Almost take done. it, and as you can see, and he's helping me out, and it's lighting it okay. up. Okay. Right? Hold on there. And there you go. Now the LED is on, and the voltage is below 2.5. Exactly. Now turn it up. Turn it up. Okay, it's, it's about three volts. And it's off. And now the LED is off. This is Willie Joseph signing off, and I guess uh, the rest of the crew is going to talk about the hardware implementation of the buck converter. And um, you will see me seventh week. So, as uh, Willie described in the first part of this video, we had a software portion and we had the hardware portion. So this is our mini board. This is just a buck converter. Control is excluded here. We have the basic components are a MOSFET, an inductor, a capacitor, and we're using some uh, Your hand out the way. Power, power resistors as dummy load because this is supposed to charge the battery. Since we don't have a battery here, we need to have a load to have a closed loop so we can take measurement. We have an a PWM input to trigger this uh, MOSFET. So based on the duty cycle, we can control our output voltage. So what we have, as you can see on the scope, is a PWM cycle. Uh, the duty cycle is about 80%. So it's, it's about 80% on and 20% off. So if I power this one, the sun is shining, right? Just like in the Bahamas. So we have that here. Duty cycle set at 80%. So 80% of 17 volt is somewhere around 13. So looking at this meter, which is reading the output voltage across the resistor, our load is about 12 volt. So well, there you have it. The end of week five. Again, Peace. we will see you in week seven. seven. Milestone 4 is brought to you by Perdomo Cigars. Back to you, Andy. Here we are, week 7. We have our general purpose board here created now with all the milestones up to date. We can sense current. We can get a PWM. We have a LED we can light up. Um, we're sitting here waiting for the clown with the software to come and hook it up so we can show you something cool. And right now you're seeing the circuit. This portion over here you see is the buck converter. That's the meat of the circuit. That's what's creating the differential voltage to charge the battery up for us. Over here in this section you see the microprocessor. We're using the PIC microprocessor. We have two current sensing chips on the board there that take the input from the source, which is in our case the solar panel and it runs it through the sensing resistor and it takes that value to the pick. Um, this area down here you see a communication set up for a serial communication back to 
Willie's software where we can see the values. And now, we're going to no. do a continuation of milestone four, the current and voltage sensing section of our circuit. Oh, look at this guy, man. I like your hat. And back to the current sensing, we're going to measure the output from the differential amplifier here on the MAX 4173. And this is the voltage to the pick for the current sensing. 0.6, again, in the range from 0 to 5. And to the voltage divider, which is giving us our voltage reading, it's approximately 4. Again, it's going to be in the range from 0 to 5. And at a max of, say, 17 volts, it's going to be under our 5. And that's pretty much it for the current sensing and the voltage sensing portion of our circuit. Okay. What do you have to tell us, Lacandra? Um. Just overall, overall about the project. <laughs>